Uh, we have another remarkable woman to tell you about tonight. Our third nominee has many titles, including Sergeant First Class, Coach, Volunteer, and Mother. Kettle Vans Bridget Bennett introduces you to Rachel Hangman, a woman who is making a difference, especially for the younger generation. You have plenty of time now. Let's go. Come on. I was on my way up to SDSU my sophomore year of college. And that's when I found out the planes hit the buildings. Just weeks after 9-11, Rachel Hangman went with her younger brother to meet with an Army recruiter and decided to enlist. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Good. Our cousins, my husband, my brother-in-law, my baby sister, my daughter. It is a truly a family tradition. A tradition Rachel is now working to start in many families around the region. I get to recruit where I went to high school. She spent 17 years as a full-time recruiter in the Army National Guard, helping more than 250 Kelloland students students find their passion in the guard. I can't put people in the military and tell them that it's going to be sunshine and roses and that and expect people to leave their families if I don't have to go through it myself. She's gearing up for her husband's second deployment, this time as a mother of four. My husband deployed in 2010 to 2011 to Afghanistan and we knew when he came home we wanted to try some more for another child. Um, we tried for um, five years. After several miscarriages, IVF, and meeting with fertility specialists, Rachel and her husband were told it was unlikely they'd be able to have any other biological children. It's horrible. I mean, it's, it's a nightmare. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of people in society, once you start having those problems, you realize how common it is. But then their miracle happened. One in a million, baby. Like, this is amazing. They found out they were pregnant with Lincoln. Rachel kept on recruiting and coaching girls basketball and tea all the way up to his arrival. She was in the beginning stages of labor with Lincoln and she got on a school bus and went to the state tournaments to coach her basketball team. Rachel's mom and nominator Donna Rumbaugh says Lincoln was born just a few hours after her team won the game. When he came out, um, he... Uh, the doctor said he was having a hard time holding his oxygen. But they're like, we're just going to take him upstairs to the NICU just to kind of see, kind of track him. And then I came upstairs and they noticed, they're like, his abdomen looks a little large. We're just going to run some scans and see how things are going. Lincoln was diagnosed with a rare kidney condition called ARPKD, which led him to the fight for his life when he was just a few months old. In between our third and our fourth appointment that day, Lincoln aspirated on the hallway of the castle and turned blue and stopped breathing. They spent the next two months in the ICU. Lincoln coded on us a few times. So brought him back because that's what they do. They're amazing up there. We're so blessed to have that facility. Sparking a forever bond between Rachel and the Sanford Children's Hospital. I sat there at the castle many days, obviously, and uh, thought about what, what can I do? How can I make these people feel better? She's now organizing lunch with Lincoln every month providing families at the castle with a meal from TC referees right in their room. I didn't want to leave my kid. I did not want to leave his side. And so I can imagine other people don't want to leave their child either. Lincoln's medical concerns are far from over. He will need a kidney and liver transplant in his lifetime. But Rachel says she will continue to work to serve others throughout his journey. He's impacted so many people and God put him here to do that for us. Despite all the bad things that life throws her way, she seems to figure out a way to turn them around and make them positive and use them to help other people. And we will introduce you to our final nominee coming up next Tuesday at 5. Then later that night, you can watch a remarkable woman special right here on Kettleland TV at 6.30. We will announce the local winner on March 6th.